5 car questions people are afraid to ask mechanics. Regarding getting help with your vehicle, there is no shortage of information that car drivers want to be aware of. There is a lot of vital information about vehicles to be aware of. Begin with the basics. Please take a look at 5 of the most common car questions drivers ask car mechanics and their answers. Number 1. Why does my check engine light come on? One of the most common reasons why your check engine warning light is on is a simple and cost-free solution. If the cap on your gas tank wasn't tightened when you last filled it, it may cause pressure issues in the fuel delivery system and causes the check engine warning to come on. Try tightening the gas cap first. If this doesn't work, consult your mechanic. It could be something as simple as a failed catalytic converter, faulty spark plugs, or an oxygen sensor failure. Because this light may be a sign of various issues, it's best to let your mechanic determine the problem. Number 2. What is the correct tire pressure for me and how often should I check it? The proper pressure of your tires differs from one car to another. It's crucial to know the exact pressure of your car needs since tire pressure can impact the performance and safety of your car. You can locate the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure on a sticker which is usually placed on the door jam on your driver's side. Be sure to attach this to this number, not the maximum number of pounds per square inch PSI at the bottom of the tire. Check the pressure every month or each when you fill up. Number 3. Do I have to have my car serviced by the dealership to have it covered by my warranty? The warranty for your vehicle is valid regardless of the location you get it maintained. However, if you have car maintenance tasks such as oil changes and tire rotations performed somewhere other than the dealership, make sure you keep a record of when and where the work was done. Keep receipts too. The automaker or dealership should honor the warranty if you have proof that the work was completed. Number 4. How often should I have my oil changed? At a time drivers were required to replace their oils every 3 miles, today with the advent of innovations in how engines are built and modifications to oil formulations, it's no longer the norm. Nowadays, manufacturers suggest the maintenance schedule for oil every 5 to 10 miles. That's applicable when you're using synthetic oils. Read the owner's manual of your vehicle to determine what's appropriate for your vehicle. The guidelines vary based on the car's model and make. The owner's manual should inform you when you'll need to change your oil based on the type of oil you're using and the quantity of driving you to undertake. This manual should also tell you the type of oil to use. Number 5. What should I check before buying a used car? Alongside obtaining information on the vehicle's history by reading online reports, search for signs of faulty parts including gauges or lights that aren't working correctly. When it's severe, rust could weaken the vehicle's frame, making it dangerous to operate. Check the electronic door locks and windows to ensure they're all working. Also, you want your brakes to are solid and not soft. If your car's exhaust system generates a lot of sound and squeaks, it could indicate significant repair costs soon. When in doubt, you should have a reliable mechanic examine the vehicle. Additionally, consult these helpful tips for buying a used car to aid you in making an informed decision when buying. Although these might not cover all the questions you'd want to get a maintenance specialist to answer, these are some of the top 5 frequently asked questions and they'll assist you in keeping your vehicle in good condition. If you're thinking of buying an automobile from private sellers, then you should read the How to Buy a Car from a Private Seller Guide will give you the steps to evaluate the car. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.